Hi, it's Chris here with Bernice of the Rockies, and you're watching the official Bernice of the Rockies YouTube channel, the place to be if you love all things Bernice Mountain Dogs. Well, it's Friday, so Friday means Burner Fan Friday. This is where I answer your questions, kind of give you some tips and different things like this, and what's kind of going on around uh, the Bernice of the Rockies website and brand and all that kind of fun stuff. So, first things first, February is the month of love, and so if you've noticed on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Bernice of the Rockies, uh, we're holding a photo contest. Now this is open to all breeds and so if you have, you know, a Chihuahua or German Shepherd or Bernese Mountain Dog, uh, we'd love to see your pictures. You know, just a picture that you really love and we're going to be choosing two winners to win a cool um, Amazon gift card. And so we would love to, uh, you know, have you participate. So again, it's at facebook.com slash Bernese of the Rockies and you'll see it on there. So this week, you know, here in Colorado, have a lot of snow. It's been pretty crazy, uh, you know, kind of been snowed in a little bit. The dogs have loved it. So, I mean, if you have Bernese Mountain Dogs, you know uh, how much they enjoy the snow. So one of the questions I get asked a lot is about potty training in the different seasons. Now, of course, here in Colorado, we've got a lot of snow this week, um, which brings up a good point to ask, you know, I mean, you know, if you're looking to adopt a puppy, you know, it's important to think about when you want to bring the puppy home in terms of potty training. So if you um, live in the mountains or in a region where uh, you're going to have like, you know, two to ten feet of snow, then, uh, you know, those are obviously things you want to keep, you know, in mind. But the same goes for like the summer and, and you know, the, the fall, because, you know, if it rains a lot and you're going to have a lot of mud, different things like this, you know, I mean, you're going to have to just kind of figure out your potty training routine, you know, finding a place in your yard or whatever you're going to use for your potty training um, that's going to work good for your dog and your family because, you know, of course, it's not going to be overnight. Um, typically, you know, most of my dogs, you know, within the first, um, you know, usually about the first month or so, they're, they're pretty well getting the potty training. And I'll do a whole video at a later point on potty training because typically what I do is I use potty pads um, and then I use a bell on the door. So the dogs go to the door and they ring a bell and say, hey, I need to go outside. But sometimes, you know, you, you have to just kind of think about, um, you know, your environment and bringing home a puppy. And so it's really kind of important to think about um, when you're going to be bringing a puppy home and just, you know, anticipating your needs for, you know, a puppy. So currently I kind of have been uh, puppy sitting a little bit. If you would like to puppy sit, you can uh, leave a comment if you ever like to puppy sit. But sometimes when you, um, you know, obviously you're bringing home a puppy, you know, based on the weather, you know, you have to be, you know, keep that in mind. And so what I like to try to use is, um, it, it's a belly band. And so, you know, it, it just kind of is Velcro. And, uh, It's just a Velcro little kind of like doggy diaper um, that goes around the puppy and it really helps if you have a male like this little guy, huh? And then what it does is it keeps it where, you know, if, you know, as you're potty training and stuff, you know, it kind of helps them. Uh, so obviously they're not having accents all over your home. Um, and then of course in the weather, if the weather's bad where, you know, you, you don't want to obviously leave your puppy outside, um, it helps you with your, your potty training. So I definitely recommend that. So, huh. So in Tuesday's show, we talked about grooming and shampoos and things like this. And so I want to send a special shout out to Elizabeth for um, letting me know what she uses for Newfoundland. So um, I'm definitely going to pick some up and you can read what that was in the comments section of the Tuesday video. And of course, like any video, if you have something you'd like to say uh, or comment or something that you would like to um, add to the show, I definitely like to hear your, your opinion. You can just leave that in the comments right below this video. So again, if you like these videos, please consider subscribing. Um, it's free and of course, then you get to uh, have an update um, anytime I make a new video and uh, you know make it kind of fun for you guys. So, so again, if you have a question you would like me to answer on the air, um, please send that at questions at BerniseOfTheRockies.com. And until next time, hug your dog and be blessed.